poor yard. But it had to be done. This is a skid steer. Tracks. I'll get the grass to grow again. But what did I do? And it might go with a skid steer, you might ask. Cutie intro. <laughs> All right, I showed you pictures of progress he's done. This is a 12 by 12 pad. Level. The backyard's taking a beating. He's gonna come back Monday to clean up. Backfill. I had a tree taken down right there. There's a big oak, half of it was dead, which I told him to make sure it do a good job and so what happened. So I guess see if anybody wants some oak. No. I have a friend who wants some, I think. So, like I said, this is a 12 by 12 pad. A little deeper on the for footers all the way around. Our HOA is requiring us to have a, what's getting built right here on a concrete slab. It's gonna be a 12 by 12 shed. A double door here window here and no other windows and on the roof it's gonna have roof facing this way and a dormer on this side so it's gonna look pretty good so I needed concrete for this and I'm like while you're here let's add on let me show you what I'm adding on but my back patio was 10 feet by 14 feet I mean, it's too tight to sit around the table on either side so I had another four foot added. So now it's a 14 by 14 square. Since I had to have the 12 by 12 port, I'm like, this is best time and then you have that port. This was poured last night, Friday afternoon. The concrete chip showed up. And did that. He had a little bit left over and had this poured. I told him if you have any extra, go ahead and pour this. My wife has this little tote deal with pillows and whatever for out here around the chairs. So it's gonna sit there all nice and pretty. He's gonna come by tomorrow. Or Monday, I mean, today's Saturday. And clean up, bag fill. And I told him, don't worry about seeding. I got seed. I'll seed it and put the water to it. But right there's going to be a 12 by 12 shit. Let's talk about prices. The concrete it was four yards for that, this, and that is four yards of concrete. He drove it back from the street in his bobcat. That's why there's bobcat tracks all over. The grass was dying because of the heat. I haven't watered the backyard. But once he's done and backfills everything, we seed, reseed. I'll uh, 
put the water tote on timers. A couple of weeks, it, you won't notice it. But in a couple of weeks, they're gonna come and build the shed. So the concrete way he has has this done is it's fifteen hundred dollars labor for him to do everything. Move the concrete back here, backfill, grade, form, pour, level, you know, do everything for the concrete. His labor is fifteen hundred dollars. <laughs> And then you pay the concrete truck. He wanted it for the concrete truck Wednesday or Thursday, but couldn't get the concrete. So he was able to finally get it Friday afternoon. And when we had to call the concrete company and pay, he ordered it. We just had to pay for it. He does that so you don't say he's going to upcharge you for concrete. You're paying the concrete directly, the concrete truck. For four yards of concrete getting delivered it was seven hundred and thirty two dollars and change so seven hundred and thirty three dollars for four yards of concrete like i said for the 12 by 12 pad a four by 14 foot pad and this little pad behind me it's seven hundred and thirty three dollars for four yards of concrete here in statesville north carolina and for him doing all the work, using his bobcat, leveling everything up, forming it. That's supposed to be level and square. We'll see. Uh, it was $1,500 labor. At the end of July, we're going to have that shed built. Here's what the shed's going to look like real quick. So... The end of July, they're going to come and build a shed. I've already paid a $4,000 deposit. The shed's going to cost right at seventy-five dollars to $8,000. It depends if it's level and square. If it's level and square, we save close to $500. And like I said, it's going to be built the end of the month, end of July. It's when we're on schedule to build it. But... We'll see that when it happens. By editing this, this video, I just wanted to give you what I have to do. Pretty HOA, it has to be vinyl siding. That's an extra $1,500 on the purchase of my shed for vinyl siding. Instead of doing 24 on center, I'm doing 16 inch on center studs. So that's like an extra 110 bucks. Why not? It's a sturdier building. The better shingles are like a hundred and some dollars because they're gonna match the house. That just can't be plain. It's gonna be that fancier shingles. That's an upcharge. I'm doing an upcharge to having a dormer put on with a couple windows up there. I think that's like an extra eight hundred dollars. That way, it just don't look like a box back there in the backyard. It gives it some character. I'm also putting one window up front. Windows are a hundred dollars a pop. Ain't no biggie. And it's going to have double doors. They're going to build on site. And they're going to have small windows up on each door. Supposedly, they're going to be vinyl sided too. And they're going to, uh, the windows, it's kind of going to match the garage door. So the house, the shed will match the house for the most part. So that's why it's costing so much. And Joe Biden America, everything is more expensive right now. So $7,500, give or take. I did see him via my security camera. She was a level, you know, a laser level and all when he formed it. So I'm pretty sure it's square and level within an inch like the builder wants. So that's what I'm getting done on this building. I just wanted to add that right here. Right now the concrete's done. All he's got to do is finish back it, filling everything, cleaning up. And then I get to put down some grass seed and put the water to the backyard. So I get grass growing again. It was starting to die off because we've had a hot, dry summer here at the house. Been nice if we had central irrigation, but oh well, we don't. I'll have to put a couple garden sprinklers out and water the whole yard at once, set it on timer. Don't, I won't have to worry about it or the wife. So. 
you think $733 is a lot for four yards of concrete delivered? What kind of prices are you finding? And are you having trouble getting concrete like this guy was? He wanted to pour it Tuesday or Wednesday, but had to wait till Friday afternoon to get it. Let me know. Talk to you next time. This is just a little backyard update. Rouse trucking. If you don't subscribe to me, hit that subscribe button. Thumb up the video. I'll talk to you next time.